So I haven't really talked too much about the gear that I use or about the stuff that's in my room or what I do have. Aside from one room video I did make a few months ago and I was waiting until I got a new PC to do a desk video and now that I do have it, I'm ready to make it. So this is my minimalist desk setup. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, building good habits and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Now, let's get started. So my desk is set up and designed to help me get video work done, school work done, and just have some sort of entertainment. I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't mind spending a lot of time at this desk because I am here very often. So I'll start with the desk. This is some cheap $50 desk I actually got at Walmart. I love this fake wood finish. As you can tell, this is what I use for a lot of my shots and my videos. Not the sturdiest or greatest quality desk out there, but again, it was $50 and I've had it for a few years at this point. I've always kept my desk by my window for no particular reason. I just always seem to have had it that way. Now for my PC itself, this is my first build, so please go easy on me. The case fits perfectly on my desk this way. I didn't plan it, I just got very lucky, allowing me to see the inside of the case while I sit here. I'll put all the specs and the parts in the description box. I am borrowing a graphics card from someone who was kind enough to let me borrow it, just because they are so expensive right now. I usually keep the light inside of my case and the RAM lit up orange because it matches my peripherals, which I'll get to in a second. My monitor is a 24 inch curved monitor by Asus that I got on sale at Newegg and it rests on this mount I bought on Amazon which clears some desk space for me and allows for decent cable management. My only complaint with this monitor is the speakers but that's to be expected with monitors and I use a headset most of the time anyways. Right below is my Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard. It was a tad pricey but considering how much I use my desktop and I particularly like how small this thing is. I usually have the light pattern set to fire, which matches the inside of my case. And finally, my mouse. Nothing too special here, although I do like the ability to customize the side buttons for when I'm editing. My mouse and keyboard are tied together on this big gray mouse pad. I also got on Amazon for about $15. For my wallpaper, I have this clock that shows the time and date. And I didn't even notice until writing this video, whenever I have sound playing, these little bars pop up on the bottom of the screen that go to the beat of the sound, which is pretty cool. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I downloaded it off Wallpaper Engine. And right over here is my salt lamp. The orange tone matches everything very nicely. And I've talked about the benefits of a salt lamp in my room video. Off to the side, I have a wireless phone charger. I mentioned how I like to keep my charger across the room from my bed. And I like a wireless charger because in order for me to pick up and use my phone, I have to take it off the charger, making it stop charging. So it kind of kills that temptation for me to pick up my phone. Not to mention, I think I damaged the charging port of my phone when I dropped it in the toilet one time. And right up against my desk is my chair. Not going to get too much into it because honestly, it's not that good. I did spend a decent amount on it too, which is kind of frustrating. I've had it less than a year. It's extremely wobbly and the quality just isn't that good. I will definitely be replacing it eventually. One redeeming factor about it is this footrest that comes out that I do use a lot. For cable management, bear with me because I am very spoiled and I came from a Mac, which literally has one wire to plug it in. So I cable manage this PC as best as I can for now. I have all the cables fed through this black mesh hose that I bought off Amazon. And these cables are plugged into a surge protector. I screwed these two hooks into the back of my desk in an attempt to hide these cables a little bit more. If I'm looking at my desk from the front, everything is pretty well hidden. Looking at it from the side is a different story. However, the monitor mount itself came with a few hooks that definitely helped with the cable management. 
I used double-sided Velcro here to mount the monitor's power block to the back of the desk. Again, Mac has definitely spoiled me with only having one cable. So that's pretty much it for my desk setup. I decided to switch from Mac to PC because I want the ability to upgrade over time and a Mac with similar specs to my PC was looking at at least $1,000 more and Mac is just getting a little ridiculous with their prices. But anyways, I know this was a different type of video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I use and a little bit of my setup. Let me know if you enjoy this type of content. I did have a few requests to see my desk, so I thought I would do a video about it. Again, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.